Well, let's move on to another team that the offense has kind of struggled, I would say. I would I would call it a struggle right now. That's Jacksonville. This Jacksonville yeah. offense has struggled, man. And, uh, you know, I was definitely on the, the Trevor Lawrence will be elite train. I thought he was a value there in the middle of the, the quarterback twos. Has not been that at all in any capacity so far. And I was expecting these weapons to be a little bit better too. Like, I think we're getting what we expected out of Brian Thomas, the upside, the big playability. Um, but we're not getting what we expected at all from Christian Kirk, like at all. And it's ugly when it comes to these receivers. I think Brian Thomas is firmly taken over as the wide receiver one here. He looks like the better talent, more involved. But it's, it is very concerning if you have Christian Kirk or you drafted him to be a wide receiver three or four for your team. You got to be wondering, like, do I even hold this guy? Like, <laughs> is this a player you even roster at this point, honestly? And I think I think it comes down to two things. One, do you have enough receiver strength to hold on to him on your bench, let things kind of settle aside for four to five weeks before you make a decision? Or are you to a point now where you absolutely need receiver production and you got to drop his ass? I actually don't think it's a bad drop at this point. I would try to wait one more week, but I don't think it's a bad drop. Trade him if you can. I would I would hold out. And the reason being is because I, you know, I, I thought that this offense was also going to be better than what they have been. And they have been really disappointing. Um, but, you know, last week they played Cleveland. Cleveland had a good defense last year. Maybe they'll continue to have a good defense this year. Um, and it's also like, you know, Evan Ingram got hurt in pregame warmups. He wasn't active for this game. You know, maybe throws it off a little bit. Uh, I, I think one of the biggest problems, too, is this offensive line was not good last year. I, I haven't looked at it, but I'd imagine that they're probably not very good so far this season. I did kind of look at it, but I don't remember what the exact numbers were. Um, you, think that would help? you would think that would help Christian Kirk. When the offensive line isn't good, you got to check down to the line of scrimmage. It's, it's been ugly for him. He's not even getting a whole lot of looks. So right now their passing grade is – well, this is just for this week. Never mind. It's not even for the season. So, um, But, yeah, I, I think that it's – it's also like I, I want to say Trevor Lawrence just hasn't even thrown the ball that much too. Like I know week one, how many times did he throw? I want to look this He's up. Th Twenty one times in week one, thirty in week two. So, so I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, not a lot of volume. It's not a lot of volume, and you can say that you know uh, Brian Brian Thomas is the wide receiver one here, but it, it's once again like we're still really early in the season, and like the passing across the league has just been down in general. That I would just and and Brian Thomas also had a, a late reception in that game. I want to say it was like last drive, 66 yard reception yeah. that kind of bolstered his numbers. So, like I, I don't want to say that Christian Kirk is not it can't be a piece of this offense. Like, I think that Brian Thomas could definitely outproduce him for the rest of the year hundred percent. But he was somebody that I would just continue to hold. And the reason why I would continue is I still have hope in Trevor Lawrence. Maybe he's just overrated and he's not as good as, you know. I, I don't think he's he he overrated. Is. I think I just think that this offense is evolving. This offense is evolving. And it used to be, I think this was a Christian Kirk-led offense. When you draft a guy like Brian Thomas in this receiver class, we've seen he can be in – he flashes elite potential. Like, he, that's when you watch Brian Thomas, you're like, oh, no. That's the profile of a guy that they want to be the guy. And I kind of just feel like Trevor maybe has had a connection with him more so like it opens things up as opposed to you having to use Christian Kirk and rely on. But him. I, I, but Christian Kirk was he was fine last year and, and they also had Calvin Ridley like Christian Kirk last year. Um, Well, he only played in 12 games. That was Yeah, he got game. hurt. He was, and I he think was he was like up. he had flashes, but he was super inconsistent. Whereas a year before we saw him be the guy after they. Yeah, paid him. he was the guy. Right, He was the guy. And then when Calvin came, it was like he was he was really inconsistent, which we mm -hmm. hadn't seen. From Christian Kirk, he had like kind of proved in good graces, like, yo, this is a wide receiver two, three. It wasn't like that last year. And, well, well and it's also, too. yeah, he got hurt and he had three touchdowns. And like, and that that's kind of the problem, too, is just I, I think that there's better days ahead. I want to drop him just because, like, who are you going to drop him for? And, and like, the people that you're probably going to drop him for are just going to be more of like short term fixes. Like, are you going to drop him for, I don't know, Jordan Whittington, Jawan Jennings? Yeah. Like those are kind of like short term fixes potentially rather than long term. And like I would, would just hold out me, hope. Would, would you drop for like a Jawan Jennings or Demarcus Robinson? No, I wouldn't. I would just continue to hold Christian Kirk. I'd rather have him on my roster. I like there's got to be other people that you can drop. So I would just continue to hold out hope. And also, like the reason being is like I, I just hope that Trevor plays better. And like if yes, Trevor's able to play better, 
I think like there can be multiple guys in this offense that can put up decent numbers. So I would just hold out and, and kind of see. And also like the other thing too, is we have to take into consideration as well. Like, yes, Christian Kirk, you know, was here, but also these are two new wide receivers that Trevor's working with as well. And Brian Thomas and Gabe Davis. So like they, and then you also last week didn't have, you know, Evan Ingram. So like th there's new pieces that, got to flow through this offense that they got to get working. So I, I, I have faith that they can get better. So I'm not, I, I don't want to panic yet. I don't know. It's you see both games. I don't know. Christian Kirk, Christian Kirk don't have as many yards as Gabe Davis has had in either game as many yards as Brian Thomas has had in either game. <laughs> Hell, Brandon, fuck, Brandon strange out targeted him and out produced him last week. I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of out on this receiving core, or at least on Christian Kirk. Um, I, I kind of think that it's just, he's a player that we're holding on to like previous usage. And it kind of feel like normally I'm all about those players. It feels like in this, in this offense. So as they're figuring things out, they're figuring things out without him. That's kind of what it feels like to me. And so unless we see a big, like, okay, week three comes same thing. We see four targets next week, limited production, panic button pressed. I guess I would look what I would want to see what this offense looks like. If we're still only throwing the ball 21 times, I don't know. It depends on what the rest of it looks Shit, like. But what if it's worse? What if what if Trevor throws for 400 yards and he only has 25? Well, then yeah, I would definitely be concerned. All right, yeah, for sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, All the, you know the Jags offense, man. Hopefully, it gets better because I think we have there's some fan, some good fantasy pieces that could come out yeah. of this thing. And it's it's unfortunate because and once again we're we're still very early in the season. I know it's week two, and you obviously you want to see like better production out of these kind of guys, but it's still early, and hopefully like these guys can get it going because this offense has not been good to start All the right. season.